What's up everyone? I am Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead and today we are in a rush to get the kidding area finished for the goats. We still have to fence off a small area outside of the barn for them. We're going to be using the 2x4 welded wire for that because little baby goats can actually get through the sheep and goat. So we're just going to do a small area for the baby goats that way we don't have to worry about them being up by the road. And then we have to finish up the inside of the barn and put some kidding stalls in. I got some pins off of Amazon we're going to try to see how they work i'm hoping in my head it'll work but for now we're going to start a time lapse because we had rain yesterday so we didn't get any work done yesterday and we have rain coming again tomorrow so while we have this beautiful 70 degree weather we're going to try to get this knocked out as much as possible so let's start it So we have the fencing up. Like I said, we're only using the two by four welded wire fencing. It's perfect for babies. And we're only doing three foot. We don't need a four foot for the babies. These girls aren't gonna jump a three foot. They're just gonna get in the way of everything. So we will have a six foot gate right here. That way we can take the little tractor and clean out in there when we need to. And then the only thing we're going to do over here is instead of pulling the fencing, across this section we're just going to just kind of attach it to the existing fencing there just make it a little bit more easier but then we have this line right here so this will be plenty of space for all of the little baby goats really rogue seriously To attach the welded wire to the sheep and goat, we're just using these clips and the little clippy thing that you can get. Most people use these to build their rabbit cages and we can just clamp them together. So if for some reason we ever do need to take this off, it'll be fairly easy to do and we won't have to take down all of the fencing. All right, so for the kidding stalls, I was looking at some really fancy goat kidding pins, but they were really expensive and I, the thing I liked most about them was that I could just take them down really easily with pins. So I found these on Amazon. They're actually dog play pins. I think I got two of the 16 panel ones. They come with two doors so I can make four kidding stalls fairly easy and the great thing is all I need to do is take these in and out to adjust them. So hopefully Hopefully these work out really, really well. So we're gonna get them moved over to the barn and put together. Now we only get one life, I wanna make it count. Honey, come on now and take my hand. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand Yeah, we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take all right, y'all, I think we are getting there. I've just got to get some fresh hay in here. I've got to get all the hay bags out, all the water bowls out, so I can get everything in here. We had these from last year, so we're just gonna reuse these. They fit perfectly fine. But I will say, these are heavy-dutier, 
which is nice, but these are a lot easier to put together and move around if need be. And that was the reason why we went with these. On our last barn, we learned a lot. If you haven't been following us for a long time, we recently moved and had to start over from scratch. And this is our second goat barn that we have built in the last three years. So we learned a lot from that one. The last time we put in permanent kidding stalls, which it looked great, it was really nice, but it was a really big pain in the butt to clean. So that's why we have opted to go with removables. We've got the roll up door on this barn, so we can roll up the door, we can take all of these out, we can just bring the tractor in to clean, which will be a whole lot easier compared to our last barn, which is gonna be really nice. So I do have room to put another pan right in this area, but I don't think I want to. I wanna be able to have enough room that if I have to bring a baby goat out of one of the pens, and work on it i have space to do that so we're going to leave this open so we have one two three four five six kidding stalls and worst case scenario i could use this area as a kidding area as well hopefully i won't have to do that and all the girls will be spaced out enough that we only need six in here at a time hopefully things don't always go as planned but that is the plan hey honey why aren't we attaching the gate we're, what are we doing with it I don't want to use hinges because baby goats are like roaches and they get through everything. So, you know, if you've got that hinge there, you got to have gap all along the bottom and up in here and everything like that. Not happening this time. So we're just, Le Lessons learned. So we're just going to, what, tie it to it and then when we need to remove it? Yeah. Which will also be nice when we're not using the area. We could just take the gate down and let the goats browse in here. Hi, Hi Chucky. Hi. Alright y'all, so we are officially done with the kidding stall. We've just got to inventory our buckets and hay bags, make sure we have all that stuff. But we are ready for kidding season for the most part. We still have to finish the milking parlor with the solar on that and get everything moved into there for milking. But if we have any babies anytime soon, we will be ready for them. But it is the end of the day and everybody is hungry. So we are going to finish up our evening chores. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We are T minus less than two weeks out to kidding season. So make sure you subscribe for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.